Hi friends, again, a warm welcome to an important testing tutorial which might have been given a bit less attention so far, it's accessibility testing. Websites are more usable than they were 20 years ago, but there are still millions of users left in the dark people with disabilities. This collection of tutorials would help to understand what, why and how aspects of the accessibility testing so with this tutorial, we would have a better understanding of how to develop the web content that is accessible to people with disabilities that provides a better user experience for everyone. So let's get started now. Today we are going to focus on accessibility versus web accessibility, what is accessibility testing, why do we perform accessibility testing, types of disabilities we should consider, how to perform four types of accessibility testing, some example test cases of accessibility testing, how to design the accessible prototypes and accessibility testing tools. So what is accessibility? Accessibility is the practice of making your websites usable by as many people as possible. We traditionally think of this as being about people with disabilities, but the practice of making sites accessible also benefits other groups such as those using mobile devices, or those with slow network connections. Then what is web accessibility? Web accessibility refers to the accessibility of websites, tools, and technologies to all people, regardless of their disability or impairment. Web applications must support people with types of disabilities such as vision, physical, cognitive, literacy, and hearing. Now, what is accessibility testing? Accessibility testing is defined as a type of software testing performed to ensure that the application being tested is usable by people with disabilities like hearing, color blindness, old age and other disadvantaged groups. It is a subset of usability testing. The objective of accessibility testing is to serve to market for disabled people, to abide by accessibility legislation, and to avoid potential lawsuits. So friends, why do we need accessibility testing? Firstly, it's an, an untapped market. According to an accessibility-focused study by Nuclear Research, disabled users represent over 1 billion users globally. 70% of websites are inaccessible to people with disabilities. That means there's an enormous global population that isn't being catered for, and a market that's not being leveraged to its fullest potential. To emphasize this missed opportunity, that same study discovered that two-thirds of top U.S. e-commerce companies are losing up to $6.9 billion in potential revenue as a result failing to cater to this demographic. Then second very important reason is to avoid lawsuits. Each country has its own laws regarding the reasonable accessibility of websites created within their jurisdiction. In the US, for example, Section 508 applies to government or federal websites offering information or services to the general public. Being Section 508 compliant means that your website has a high degree of accessibility for all users, minimizing discrimination based on disability. Types of disabilities to support First is vision disability in which we complete blindness or color blindness or poor eyesight. Secondly, physical disability, difficulty of using keyboards and mouse. Thirdly, cognitive disability, poor memory or difficulties of learning. Fourth, literacy disability difficulty of finding words and reading. And fifth, hearing disability, auditory problems like deafness and hearing impairments. 
difficulty to hear or hear clearly. Let's learn the main topic, how to perform accessibility testing. First, eyesight or vision disability. We need to ensure whether the application provides keyboard shortcuts for all the operations used by a mouse. Then we can use text to audio converters, magnifiers for fewer vision abilities, color blindness filters and we can ensure fonts used are satisfying the rules of W3C accessibility checker. To deal with the physical disability, we need to check whether there is voice recognition software and test its consistency. For people with a speech disability, check whether the physical keyboard is efficient to use. People with a motor disability should have an option to find human help in case of emergencies. Test the application with a specialized mouse for people who have limitations in muscular control. Make sure the timeouts are configured accordingly as the user consumes more time for situations like entering the values in the form ETC. To deal with cognitive disability. Check whether the controls are clear for the users to use. Easily understandable menus so that the user can select what they need. Maximum usage of images and graphs instead of texts which make understanding the context difficult. Test whether the user can complete a task without unnecessary distractions like alerts, advertisements, etc. Validate whether there is an option to find human help. To deal with hearing disability. Test whether the application alerts the users with vibration even when that feature is turned off, for example in mobile apps. Providing manuals in sign language for better understanding the application. Flash alerts in mobile phones like LED lights flashing during incoming calls. And again make sure audio to text converters in place. Now let's take a look at some example test cases for accessibility testing. Firstly, verify if there are shortcuts present for menu items. Secondly, verify if the user manual is provided and it is described in simple words. Third, verify if the font sizes can be enlarged. Fourth, verify if the captions, labels, and headings are available and they are descriptive. Fifth, verify if the user can access the video and audio controls. Sixth, verify if there are correct product alerts. Seventh, verify if the complete content of the page is easy, to the point, and easily understandable. Eight, verify if the color and contrast of the website or the product is soothing for the eye. Ninth, verify whether the content is properly visible or not in high contrast mode. Tenth, verify if the user knows about the approximate page load time. Let's also learn the six ways to design accessible prototypes. Accessibility testing can be done at two different stages, during website design or after. We recommend you do accessibility testing even before you develop your website to avoid large redesign overhauls. By doing so, you likely save time and money. Here are some points to bear in mind while designing your website prototype. Firstly, user personas. Create personas. You don't just have to create personas that are non-disabled. After all, User personas are supposed to represent a whole segment of your audience, it's highly unlikely that none of them will have any disability. Secondly, clear color contrast. Your website should have a highly contrasting UI. That means colors should have the appropriate level of contrast specified for WCAG AA and AAA. Color.co is a great free resource offering designers custom color palettes especially designed with WCAG accessibility testing procedures in mind. Third, form design. Design forms that are intuitive, 
While this is great for all users, it's of particular benefit to those with impaired cognitive function and color blindness. In required fields, consider using an asterisk and use symbols to denote error and success. Make sure the structure layout of content is easy to understand and could stand alone without images. Make sure each image you use has a descriptive alt text. This will be a great step to ensuring your site will be usable by blind people. Fourth way to design accessible prototypes is focus indicators. Focus indicators make elements stand out against the background. This is particularly important for users with impaired motor function that navigate with a keyboard, or people with sight difficulties. You can create focus indicators in a variety of ways by adding interactions to each link and elements that act as a button, such as highlighting, outlining, shadowing, fading, adding movement. Creating focus indicators will help users to easily tap through your web pages using tab and shift plus tab buttons. Fifth way to design accessible prototypes is cascading style sheets. You need to make sure the visual design is included in the form of CSS style sheets. Why? Because style sheets are among the most efficient ways of displaying web content. Style sheets work well for accessibility because they can be turned off or overrun by someone with visual problems. It also enables color-blind users to also apply their own custom-made style sheets to the website. Sixth and final way to design the accessible prototypes is to use the navigational hierarchy. Make sure that the information hierarchy is in the simplest structure it can be in. It's time to learn about accessibility testing tools. There are a lot of tools that support accessibility testing, some of them are Automated Accessibility Testing Tool Accessibility Checker Accessibility Checklist Axe Chrome Plugin Accessibility Viewer Accessibility Management Platform Fire Eyes Comply First Professional Finally, accessibility testing helps in making your application disabled friendly. If following accessibility guidelines is not possible due to complexity of your web application, build one version of the website for regular users and other for disabled. Friends, hope this accessibility testing tutorial has added something useful in your testing understanding. Again, please like, share, subscribe and comment so that we remain motivated to come up with such knowledge sharing videos. Thanks for watching all our videos, see you in the next one.